Okay, here we go. We've let this dry for about a week now. And now we're going to go back into it, and with the paint being a little more dry, normally we do a wet on wet technique and put it all down at once. But some of these paintings with some finer details, it just takes a little bit of drying time in there, so we can go back and put some of those little fine details in. As best I can anyways. You know I'm not the best painter in the Shire. Now, we've got our statues there, and we're just going to, we're not using a whole lot of colors this week, uh, just because we've already put most of it down. So we have our sap green, our burnt umber, ivory black, medium lemon, or excuse me, medium yellow. I always switch those up. It's hard to keep track. And of course, titanium white. That one never changes. All right, here we go. We're going to add some details in here. I'm just using a very small brush today. Just going to put a little bit of paint thinner on that. And I'm going to come into some of our titanium white. I'm just going to pick some of that up. I'm going to put it right there, and we're going to come in with some of that ivory black. And we're just going to mix up. I'm just going to put that there, and just bring it over, and we'll mix up. We'll mix up a gray, stony kind of look there. There we go. We have some of those tones down already, so we're just using various tones of, of gray, dark, medium, light. There we go. All right, so we have just that color mixed up there. Let's come in, and now we're going to, we're going to try and put in some details here. Try and make that a little bit more. There we go. We just put that in. Now let's come into some of our dark. I'm just going to wipe some of that off. We're going to come in with just some of our ivory black now. And we'll do some shading on this. Just where his eyes are. And his nose, the side of his nose. And I'm sure there's better brushes to use for this. But I'm just using what I got. Normally I use these big broad stroke brushes. And this is my grandpappy toque. There we go. Just putting some of that in. And we're just lightening some of this up here. There we are. As you can see, we're just coming on this. And I'm no expert in this kind of painting. I'm no expert here. But you just want to think, our lighter spots are off on this side. That's kind of where we have the sun coming from. You can see the shadows on the hill here, and it's brighter on this side. So that's, it'll be the same way. If it's on this side of it, it'll be darker. If it's on this side, it should be brighter. So we'll come in, and this side is just getting a little brighter. And we're just going to paint in his shirt here. And 
And of course he has his shield right in front of him. And it'll be just casting a little shadow here, right there. So where his legs are, be a little darker as it goes back. And we'll come on top there. There's where his feet are. Put a little bit of separation there. There we go. And just going back and forth. Just going back and forth from some of our, our darker color. To the lighter color. And we're just filling some of that in and then we'll come back and give it little bits of highlight. We still wanted to have the appearance of stone. And I'm just, I'm just switching between these different shades of gray that I have here. Some are lighter. Like that, you can see, and then we can come down. Just put in some of that shades, those lighter shades. And it just kind of mixes in. Right there, you see. Come there we are. And let's make a lighter shade. We'll go back up onto onto his face and put some highlights up there. This is very detailed work. Oh, and I'm not the best for these little tiny details. But we do the best we can. We do the best we can. Just taking some of that lighter tone. Coming over on this side. Now I'm sure some of you do fantastic portraits. I'm not that much of a portrait guy. I did that horse I did shadow facts last week. Oh, that's, that's about as detailed as I get sometimes. And I'm just seeing little things here. A little darker on some of these spots. There we go. And we'll blend that in a little more. And of course, They had a belt. 
and there would be a sword in there. And you just blend this down. Come back, that might be a little dark. Just knocking off some of that dark that we had on there. Just picking up some of this lighter gray. We're just kind of alternating back and forth just to give some of these details. We don't want it to be all mixed together. So it's just one shade. But we use the dark and then highlight it with the light. There we go. And of course, the shield he was bearing bore that of Gondor, the white tree of Gondor. So we don't want it to be too white, but we do want that to stick out there. Just so we know what that is, what that is. And then we want to give that an edge, just so you see the separation. And you can see that comes down there. Going back to a lighter color just to highlight the top of that shield as it comes out. There we are, just enough so you can kind of tell. So you can kind of tell, there we go. And this turned out a little dark in here. But we're just going to Just some of these spots. There we go. There we go. And let's come over to oh, Grunkle Mary there. And let's start with his shield too. He, of course, had received his shield from the horse lords in, Gun er, in Rohan. So that is what bears in his shield.
There we go. And we're just filling this in some, just putting some of that color on there. You know, you want it to have the impression that's come that's coming off the shield. So you want to leave it dark, darker around the edge of the design. Uh, we bring, bring it right down there. And let's fill in some of that green. I decided that, oh, we wouldn't want, you don't want to be able to see through that. We'll go a little darker and we'll lighten that up as we come back out. There we go. And you're just, as you put some of that arc on, you see I get this big old mess going right over here just because I'm alternating back and forth, back and forth, going from the darker to the lighter. I probably should use a different brush, but oh, you know, Timbo. Oh, I'm not too worried about all of that. I'm not too worried about all of that. No, no. Bring that down. There we go. Mix this together. Make that other leg a little lighter because it sticks out a little farther. Right there. Comes right down onto the platform. A little bit of dark separating that shield away from that. There we go. Just kind of alternating there. Just making those edges a little more distinguishable. There we go. And we're just filling this in with some color there. Now we're just going to bring some white back in there and mix up that lighter gray. There we go. We're going to put a hand to his on this shield. where he's holding it. There we go. And as I said, this is just, it's a warning, a warning to foes of the Shire. Now the Shire folk, oh, they weren't known. They weren't known much as warriors, but these two, oh, these two, they came back from their adventures, and they were the greatest warrior hobbits the Shire had seen in, in ages and ages, maybe since Bull Roarer took. There we go. And let's come to some of our dark gray. This is going to go more on this side of his face. This is just to... There we go. And you can play around with this. If it's not looking right, you just put more paint on there. There we go. Oh, I got a little bit of... 
There we go. Now some of the parts of his face, this, as you watch, that's one of the things when you start painting, you start noticing how the light hits objects, how it touches things, how it blends with things, how it highlights things, how the shadows are created. And you just want to practice it, highlighting those things. And there we go. So you just vary from light to dark, creating those different values that give you shape. And you just think about where would it be the darkest? Where would it be the darkest? Where would the, the light have the hardest time forming? And that's usually the parts that are deeper in set or on the side the light is not hitting. We're going to pick up some more of this gray here. We'll come along. There we go. Just giving more detail in there on each one. Maybe on this side. There we are. Let's, we'll just wash off that brush a little bit. We're just kind of getting all the colors caked on there and that'll thin it out a bit. Coming in, a little bit lighter gray again, and now we're just going to, where the light hits his hair a little more, bring it right down, there we go, there we go. And you can go, you can go for hours and hours just putting all these details in. There we go. Now let's come back to some of the details in the back there. Let's do some of that detailing. All right, we had our fence here. Let's move some of this just out of the way. A lot of that mess we we're making right there. And it's fine, a little bit of that'll mix into whatever we're gonna go to next. There we are. All right, and I do apologize. Sometimes when I'm working on those little details, I'm a little quiet. I stare at it a little longer, and it's not like our normal paintings when we're just throwing up all these details and making it happen real quick. So, but I thought what we would want to do is maybe, maybe this fence back here, farther away, We just put in another fence back there, going away. And just put in our post there. And you don't have to have a lot of detail back there. That's so far away. It's hard to see. We just want the... Just so you can tell. Oh, I put a lot on there. Some parts are thicker than others. There we go. And you can even start putting some hobbit houses in back there. I just want to show you some of the stuff that you can do. Some of what you can do. Now this path, it kind of looks like it's floating there. So let's get some more, some more grass going back there. I'm just taking this small fan brush, just loading it up with some of our sap green. And we're just going to come. And we're just pulling this up. 
Pulling that up, pulling some grass right in front of that path. There we go. And we're just putting down this dark color first. And then we'll come back and we'll take some of this green and we're going to make a lighter green. So we're just coming there, coming into some of our medium yellow. Mixing up that lighter. See, it gets lighter as you pull it out there. Now just come on here and that'll be a little bit of shadow under there. And we're just going to pull this up. And then grab some titanium white. Now we're going to mix that in. We're going to make a real light, light green. There we go. And then that'll mix right on top of this. Same thing. We're just going to pull it up here. And so what you've already put down, just make some shadow in there. And that just kind of puts that path right into the painting. Puts it right in there. You can come down and do the same sort of thing right here. Just get some of that sap green. Just bring that and there you go. You get some dark going there. Just an easy way to throw in. Out here at some of that grass that that hasn't been trimmed by a sheep. Oh, there's no sheep trimming that grass. The cows and things that are in the Shire, they're not out here. This grass goes a little bit longer. There we go. We'll do some of that over here as well, right there. Just bend that brush and then pull it up. There we are. Keep some right on top of the path. Now clean off that brush. Oh, there we go. Get that nice and clean. Just put some of that lighter green on there and then come right on top of that grass. Right on top. And that'll mix in there. Now I think what we want to do is, oh, let's look for our one inch brush. There we are. And we're going to take this. We're going to put maybe a hill right here and a hill right here. So it kind of encloses that shire a bit and makes that more of a gate. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take some of that ivory black, just put it right down here, come into that sap green. We'll just put that sap green right in with that. And we're going to make up this color. It's going to be a darker color because there's going to be some trees on here. Oh, that might be a little too, too dark. Just wash that off. Let's go with some more of that sap green there. We may have to pick up a little bit more. There we go. But we're going to have... We're going to have our hill come right in here, right down to these statues. There we go. Just tap that in. You have to put a big old hobbit foot right on your canvas. 
not your canvas. I'd be pretty flexible if I could put my hobbit foot up on that canvas. But on your easel, just steady that out a little bit so you're not going to knock it down like we've done before. That's right, just pop that in. And now we're going to do the same on this side. We'll have that come right down there. That gives you a little more of a feeling that it's an entrance to the Shire. All right. Again, just taking some of that sap green. We're going to darken that up and we're going to come in right here. Right here, we're putting in a hill. It's very dark. There we go. You know, right down behind our statue. Put them right in there. And then we had these bushes here, but we want them to be a little darker at the bottom. There we go. And you can come back. If that's a little too dark, just come to that cadmium lemon. Just tap some of that under the brush. That'll lighten it out a bit. And we'll just give our hill a little bit lighter shade. There we go. Not too light. We want it to separate from the background. There we go. And you just want to mix that in. There we are. Now, now let's, let's put a couple of trees in here. So we want a tree coming right here. We want that to feel like an entrance to the Shire. Like the Shire is back there and the sun is coming upon it and you've been traveling in the woods. You've been out traveling. We'll come here. Maybe, maybe make it a little dark right here. Just pick that up. And what we're going to do, we're just going to put this tree right on here. And he's going to come up right up this way. And let's see, how big are we going to make that tree? I think we'll make them about this wide. Right there, just bring that across. And we'll come back and we'll... We'll put some value on that. Well, let's see. How about, instead of using the palette knife, let's come to one of our good old fan brushes. We're just going to take this fan brush here. Just load it up. Load it up with our paint. And then we'll just pull this right across here. There we go. Now, I don't have any paint that's wet down here. So it's not our normal wet on wet technique. So that's why it's going to be a little bit harder, a little bit harder to put this on, but that's okay. Then you can see why we do our wet on wet technique. So let's bring this branch right across here. Oh boy, that's getting a little messy. Getting a little messy there. We'll put some leaves and things on there though, so don't worry. Not everything is such a big mess you can't recover from it. He'll go right up, right out of the picture. Right out of the picture he will. There we go. And again, once we're putting this down, that's becoming our wet paint that we'll go over with some detailing. There we go. Oh, I hope I'm not standing in your way. I do that from time to time. Uh, 
There we are. And we'll bring one branch off back this way. Right off the canvas. There we go. Maybe this guy stretches out a little farther. Let's let's just take him right here and just pull that across. And this guy will come right here. There we are, and let's do another one over there. And this one we'll just, we'll just start from the top. And just work our way down to the bottom of this guy. Just to give it the shape. Just to give it the shape we want. There we go, come back, load some more, and maybe he's got a big trunk right here as well. Meets up right down there. And we're just kind of rounding that as we go. Just give it the round appearance. There we are. Putting this guy in here. Give him a branch right here. And I'm not going into the sweat paint. I started to pick a little bit of that up and we didn't want to do that. And maybe, maybe he's got a branch that comes across this way. Right there. All right, now let's just go. We're gonna get our liner brush and we're gonna come in and we're just gonna thin this down to put some smaller branches on. There we go, just getting some some of our odorless paint thinner that we clean our brushes in. So get that. And we're just going to put some branches in here. Just some things coming off. There we go. This one maybe hangs down right here. Comes up like that, joins over there. And you just pop those in, wherever you feel, wherever you feel. There we are, and we're gonna put leaves over these. There we go. And you start from out and bring it down, pressing a little harder as you go down. And what that happens is when you push a little harder, it gets a little wider. So start 
press it. Oh, I might have pressed it in the middle there too much. That's a limb. Limb there. Uh, maybe we come. Just put some of those in. You don't have to be real detailed with it. Just wherever you think it's going to go. And there's going to be leaves that cover this. So there we are. There we are. Clean off that brush. Just set it off to the side. All right, we're going to come to one of our one of our big two inch brushes. And we're going to load this up with some dark, that dark color there. We want these leaves that are hidden, hidden from the sun. There we go. Just pop some of those in. Just pop that in. Not pushing your brush as you go along. You want those individual things happening. There we are. We're just laying down, laying down some big leaves there. There we go. Just put those in and these are cast in the shadow. There we go. Oops. I'm trying to knock everything over here. Just load it up. And again, just come on. You're just Covering that with those dark leaves. Those are in the back. The sun is not hitting them. And you just pop those in as you go. More back here. There we are. So that way you don't have to put individual leaves in. You can just pop it in just using that big two inch brush. And you lay a bunch of them down all at the same time. And you can still see those branches coming through back there. And we're knocking, we are just knocking away at this. There we go. Maybe there's a branch up here that we can't see, but it's got a lot of leaves. Come in there, just covering the place. There we are. And come on this side and do the same thing. Just put those leaves in. Right in the corner there in the back. You can even get some more of that black, put it right in there. There we go. There we go. And you see what we've done now is we've kind of framed that out and we've really made that an entrance to the Shire. So you feel as you come up to it, you feel as though it's a place that you're going to go into, not that you've just happened upon. And you feel like you might even need some permission to go in there. There we go. Now let's clean off that brush. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come down to some of that lighter green here. 
and we're just going to load some of that up on the brush because some of these leaves will catch the light. Some of them are on the back side, some of them are catching the light there. Those are a bit yellow. That's that's just catching some of that sun there. Now we don't want to do so many of those back in here where it said it's darkest. But on these edges. There we are. Right there. Oh, some of those are catching a little more sun. There we are. So you can see this is a place where you come to. Prior to the War of the Ring, not many people thought much about the Shire. But oh, word travels fast. Word travels fast indeed. There we go. Now let's, since our tree trunks there, they don't have a lot of variation in there. Let's get some, just some lighter brown. Just lighten that brown up. That burnt umber, lighten that up with some ivory black. And then let's just give some, give some shape to this trunk. There we go. Separate it with some of that. There you are. Right up here. And you're just pulling that across. Just pulling. There we are. Let's come do some of the same on the other side. Right over here. Let's bring that in. There we go. You don't have to do it over the whole thing. Some of it's hidden. Some of it's hidden there. But you just want to give it that rounded appearance. There we are. Now let's come back. Oh, we've got our one inch brush here. Let's kind of push those trees into our, push them right in with just some bushes right in front there. There we go. And let's do the same on this side. Just take that darker green and right at the base of that tree. There we go. So it's just pop it up out of the hillside there. Then let's wash that brush off. There we go. And we'll come down and we'll get some, some of that highlight just to make these bushes stand out a bit. There we are. Right in front there. And you can see that just, that just creates that shape of those bushes there. Come back, do the same thing over on the other side. And you're just tapping it in, just tapping lightly, just dropping that off. Uh, 
There we go. There we are. Maybe we want to come back to some of that dark and in this bush here, just drop in just some different shades so it's not all just one blotchy color. There we are. Uh, let's do the same. Do the same on this side. Just drop in some of that. And and we'll give a little highlight on these as well. Right there. Just to stand that out a bit. There we are. So we're going to leave it there for now. All right, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. If you want, you can spend more time. You can come back in and you can do some more detailing, even on these statues. I just wanted to get the point that one had the, the shield that was of Gondor and the other had the shield that was of Rohan. Of course, those two Shire hobbits, they put up quite the defense of the Shire when they came back after the War of the Ring and they found that Saruman, oh, he had, he had destroyed much of the Shire. There we go. It's a great part to the story. Oh, if you're not familiar with that, I tell you what, it's right at the end of The Return of the King, the book. That's right. Check it out. Check it out. I hope you... I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's something you're not quite familiar with, the Shire Ganoth, but I thought it would be fun to paint. All right, have a great week. Goodbye, and God bless.